everyone, this is Sam Crane the Heart, and I am back with a Let's Bake Something Today project. So, just a little recap. I am using um, Gingerbread, I can't remember if it's Kisses or Hugs bundle from Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, it included a stencil, um, this really adorable stamp set. You could get the die add-on, which I did. Um, and ephemera. And paper. So I am using some of these items in my project today. I'm going to make a shaker tag. Um, I'm also going to be using my very favorite tag die um, as well as some sequin mix. And so let's go ahead and get started. But just a recap of what I've made already. I made this shaker card and this shaker card. It's very different projects and then all of these tags already so let's move on to the project so i've got um my tag and my little piece right here and then this piece which is gonna fit right here like this okay so um and then figuring out what I'm going to do for my um, foam. So we'll do that as well. So let's get to it. I am going to use, um, it's the reposition, that's not what I want. I thought that I had some glue up here, but I guess I use this glue. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, Put down this right here. So I've got my glue right here. And um, so I'm going to put this behind to kind of help me figure out where it needs to go. Okay. So this is it. So that's where I'm going to put end up putting my um, my shaker bits. Okay, so now I've got this right here. And I'm going to be using um, foam sticky strips from Tailored Expressions. Okay, so I'm going to be using these. Because these are nice and, um, these are really nice and thin. So I'm going to use that and get another piece here. And so let's see here. I'm gonna get one more piece because I want to make sure that the rest of it's evenly, you know, elevated. And okay, and. All right, so there's that and that. Now I'm going to put down my shaker bits. So I am using um, the, this calls for confetti. And I'm just trying to put my sticky strips back at the packaging so I don't get them all messed up. And I really like, um, I really like theirs. They've got some creative um, mixes, which I really enjoy. So this one is called Retro Christmas. And so I'm going to put it right here. And 
And so let's see here. Oh, I guess I'll use that. I really want some of these other little silver bits that are in here. They're like at the bottom. So we might have to put some things back if I don't. There we go. So that's kind of a lot of the big chunky pieces. And so I'm going to take some of them out and throw them back in. And it's bent one of them back. Okay. So I just want a few little shaker bits in there. Okay, so there's that and that. And now I'm going to take, peel off all of the liner. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place this over my um, shaker bits. And what I did to cut the hole in my paper um, is the postage dies from Pink and Main. I use them for my other tags. I had them out. So okay. And then just kind of press down so you get a good adherence here. And now we've got shapeability. Okay. So now I've got this really cute um, image. And I'm going to have it hanging off of the side like that. So I'm just going to put some glue on one side right here. Like that. And then this is just going to go right up here. And let's see, to finish off my image, I've got some twine. So I'm gonna put the twine through the hole. And then I've got this gold um, thread that I'm just gonna go ahead and tie off into a knot and there we go so this is one where um i mean yeah you can see it in the back but i'm not too worried about it because um, i'm going to tie this onto um, a gift bag probably is what i'm thinking um these bigger ones because then that way like if i do like a plain sack or a plain um, bag and i tie this off that'll just decorate the bag for me so I don't have to worry about buying like a bunch of different um you know bags they can be expensive so and then it says to from and so I'm I'm okay with it showing in the back if you don't like that then you might want to use a smaller image but it doesn't bother me at all because I mean it's handmade so and then we've got this piece I can tie on so there you go that is my shaker tag thank you so much for watching this is Cindy of Crane at the Heart